Hi guys, I thought I'd share a tip with you today, a tip about husbands. So, I'm sure you've all been to a demo where you've had your potential customers say, I just need to go and check with my husband or I'll go home and have a talk to my husband and I'll get back to you. I tell you what, it's one of those things that often that conversation uh, doesn't end up going anywhere. So um, I thought I'd share with you a really great tip about how you can help those wives or the partners um, of the people who aren't there get some tools on how to have that conversation. So the thought that people have is I'm gonna go home and this is just so awesome, I'm gonna tell my husband about it and he's gonna fall in love with it too and will definitely be buying it. That's the thought. The reality is they go home, uh, they tell their husband, oh my gosh, it was amazing, I can't believe it, you know, we made this, we made that, there was beetroot salad made in a blink of an eye, oh, it was awesome. And the husband's thinking, $2,000, um, it sounds like you had a fun afternoon, but I don't even like beetroot and um, I don't think so. And often that's obviously where the, uh, the conversation stalls. <laughs> so then the wife's feeling like, oh, I really want it, but you know, I don't know what to do about it. Um, the consultant rings up the next day as promised. They see the call, they're like, ah, I don't know what to tell her. I'll just, maybe if I wait a week or so, I'll work on my husband a bit, things will change. And you know how that story often ends, which is that we don't hear from them again or it takes an awfully long time. So, of course, ideally, the husbands are at the demo, but that doesn't always happen. In fact, it often doesn't happen. But we can give those wives, those fantastic potential customers, some tools to take home to their partners so that that conversation actually goes somewhere rather than ending up going nowhere. So have a think about this. If you were the partner at home who hadn't seen the Thermix in action and your wife came home all excited and pumped up about how awesome it was, how easy would it be to be convinced about that? We can direct them to YouTube channel. There's some great clips there and that definitely helps. But at the end of the day, the main thing that that husband needs to know is that this is going to be financially a good decision for their family. He probably doesn't care that much about the food. Um, when he's not there tasting it, it loses a lot of its attraction, just hearing about it secondhand, right? Um, he probably doesn't care a lot about how much time it's going to save because he's thinking, well, you know, I get dinner on the table. Um, it's not going to affect me that much. But he will be looking at that $2,089 and wondering if, if this is the best way to spend it. So how would it be if instead of just leaving your potential customer to fend for themselves and uh, hope for the best, you actually gave them some tools and coached them a little bit on what they could say that would help. So again, we're talking about money, so I think that's the route you have to go to. So rather than um, having them get home and be all excited about the food and how much time it's gonna save and the health, which are really important to them perhaps, but maybe less so to their partner, um, give them some tools about how to talk about the money side of things, because this is, you know, this is the sticking point. Obviously, I, I think we need to admit that that's the one that's gonna, that's gonna catch for them. Okay, so the conversation could go something like, great, you know, you've, you've loved it. Um, I can see you, you would like to get one, but you're concerned that um, either your husband won't want to get it or obviously you need to have that conversation. What would you like me to, um, to give you some tips on the best way to try and share this experience with your husband so that he understands what, what it is you're talking about? So first thing I did there was I asked permission. Just remember, if you ask permission, you're not gonna be feeling or being pushy. So 
So you ask permission and then <clears throat> you're going to uh, give them some tips. Okay. So, um, talk to them about how much money it could save you and get specific here. Again, ask permission. Do you want me to go through your average weekly shop and see where you could make savings so that you've got something concrete to take to him? Something like, <clears throat> look, this machine will pay for itself in six months just on the savings that we're going to make. And that's not even to mention all the other benefits. Something like that is going to sound a lot more appealing than the custard was incredible or it was restaurant quality risotto um, so you know perhaps something along the lines of okay um, this machine will will save us X amount of dollars per week the consultant sat down with me and we worked out if I'm using it daily and she promised me that she'd be there to help me and support me so that I can use it daily that I could be making this and this and this from scratch and instead of paying that, I'd be paying this. Or, um, you know how our grocery bill is usually X amount of dollars? Well, with this machine, <coughs> we could get it down to X amount of dollars. Now that's an expense that we have every single week. There's no week that we can't buy groceries. So that means we'll be saving money every single week for as long as we own this machine. Now, those are the kind of dollars and cents conversations that probably gonna hit home to the husbands much more than the emotional kind of um, excited language about food and saving time and health. Okay, I'm generalizing, I know that. I totally get I'm generalizing. Um, but I do think that in the majority of cases, this is going to this is going to be one of the things that people will struggle with. Um, so why not give them some tools to help them have that conversation? All right, so just a little recap. First of all, if the objection that your potential customer has is that I love it, but I've got to speak to my husband. Um, number one, ask permission. So first of all, would you like me to give you some tips uh, on how you could talk to your husband? So you ask permission first, and then number two, give them some tips on taking the emotion out of the language and putting the logic and the dollars into the language. That's the kind of language that, that men are gonna speak, um, especially when they're removed from the demo. Now, if you have the husbands at the demo, it's very different. They're all over the food and that's the thing that they love. It's when they're getting it secondhand. And we all know how hard it is to try and describe what the demo was like if you haven't actually seen one. So anyway, guys, I hope you, uh, Thought, uh, got some ideas from that and uh, maybe you can put it in practice and help a few of those uh, fantastic potential customers get over the line and start benefiting from having the Thermomix in their house. All right, see ya.